Hey, what's going on everybody? Jerry with 3 dhp Time for another video! Uh, today I've got a fixed dry film dryer they sent me out. They con The company contacted me back in June and I was really swamped working other projects. I just got back with them about a week ago. They sent me out this dryer free of charge to test and review on my channel. And it's a dual film dryer. It has a heating element in it. It has a, what's it called, uh, moisture control. I got another word for it. I'll put it there on the screen. It detects your moisture in your filament. And uh, we're going to get into all that and more right after this short intro. So what do you think of that for a super fast short intro right to the point? A lot of people were complaining they didn't like my long intro, so there, that was a short one. So I think that one turned out pretty good. It kind of gets to the point. Anyway, back to the filament dryer. Why do you need a filament dryer? Why do I need a filament dryer? I live in Las Vegas. Well, a lot of times when you buy filament, it comes pre-packaged and there's moisture already in the filament. For instance, PET G. PET G, PET -G or PETG, strings quite a bit. Very stringy. If you dry it out, it will cut down that significantly. You won't hear any popping at the, at the nozzle. And on PLA, for instance, even though I live in Las Vegas and it's a very dry climate, there's not much moisture here, I still get a lot of filament that gets very brittle over time. I don't keep it in desks and in packs. It sits, as you see, on a rack behind me. Here's an example of some really dry filament. We've got some red here. Now, when I go to load the filament, let's say I'm going to load this in my Bamboo Labs with an AMS. When you load filament in AMS quite often, a lot of filament that I use from certain companies, it breaks and it gets stuck inside the AMS unit, and then i got to take it apart, get out the piece of filament. Huge pain in the butt. But if I would just pre-dry my filament, I wouldn't have that problem. It wouldn't be brittle, it wouldn't be breaking. But for instance, see this red here? Well, okay, the red is bending, this isn't breaking. And I've had this sitting out quite a bit. This isn't breaking. So let's try the blue here. Here's some blue filament. Okay, see how that just snapped right off? Just snap right off very easy. It's very, there's moisture in the filament, you need to dry it. Because if that gets, breaks off my bamboo lab, for instance, the AMS, I'll get a little piece of filament in it, and I can't push it out, I've got to take it apart and plunge it out, basically. So if you use a filament dryer, dry out your filament, it will get rid of that problem. Um, you can put two single one kilogram spools, like this in this unit, side by side, or one wider spool of three kilogram filament will work in this filament. It has, let's see, looks like one, two, three, uh, three, six, there's eight holes in the top here of the unit so that your, the moisture that is taken out of the filament has some place to escape to. There's also three holes on top here, three on the front, two on the back, and two on the front so you can run your filament out and it also allows air to come in and the moisture can escape out the top. It's just a snug fit, tinted plastic. It has two sets of rollers. I'll show you a close-up here in a minute. We just set the filament in on the rollers and it can easily rotate while you're printing. It has a heating element in the bottom of it, right here. Show you some close-up pictures on the screen. Heating element right there in the bottom. It has a protective cover to put over it so you don't accidentally touch it with your hands or burn your fingers. And it has a little moisture control sensor right here in the front that detects how much moisture is in the chamber at the time once it's heating up. Then it has a timer right on the front that you can preset. It goes up to 70 C and you can set the timer to run as long as you want. There's some recommended settings from the manufacturer. Even though everybody's environment, where you live at, and humidity and temperature, everything affects everything, these are just recommended settings. I'll put them here on the screen on what the company recommends. You can hear the fan running right now, and I can feel it starting to heat up. So basically you put your filament in it, whether it be one spool, two spools, put your cover on, set it to your recommended drying time, and you can print while the filament is in the chamber. That's why it's set up on rollers. You simply run your filament out the top, out the front, out the back, wherever you need to run it and then you run it straight to your printer. Now you wouldn't run it through an AMS unit, but you could have it set next to your Bamboo Labs and run it in as a single spool. Let's say you wanted to print TPU and you wanted to pre-dry it. 
Well, TPU will not work in AMS on a Bamboo Labs, but you could dry your TPU in here and while it's drying, feed it directly out the hole and it would pull it. And there's a short piece of PTFE here that you could snip down so that these rubber guides, you don't want filament running over those rubber guides over a long period of time, it'll just cut right through them. It'll slowly cut them. So you cut up a small length of PTFE, you run it in any of these holes which you choose to use, that way your PTF fil filament is running out of those holes. And it came packaged in a nice little box here. It was not inside a larger box. And one thing I'm kind of mad about Amazon, they set this outside of my fence. They didn't set it in my yard, they didn't bring it to the front door. So if I hadn't have realized it was coming, at the roughly, you know, when it was coming, I happened to open my garage to see the driver driving away. And that's kind of irrelevant to, the, uh, irrelevant to this video, but anybody driving by could have picked up my package and snagged it. So thank God I, you know, roughly knew what date, I knew roughly when it was coming. Okay, let's check out their web, web, website, fixdryofficial.com. And here's the one right here that I have, the NT1. Currently, it's $109.99 on sale, normally $129.99. Let's take a look at some of their information here. There's all the specs on its size. It shows it with a one roll, three kilogram spool in it. There are two smaller rolls. Compatible with 99% of all filaments, ABS, ASA, PC, PETG, uh, PBA, PLA, PP, nylon, TPU. And then they have recommended drying times right down here below. And here's a heater they're using. It's a 110 watt PTC heater. Which has a fan blow it. It's blowing through the grates on the heater, which heats up the chamber. And then here I was talking about how you can run the filament out the top, the back, the front, the rear, wherever you choose to run it at. That way you can be drying your filament while you're printing at the same time. And there's a built-in fan. And there's an example of how you can just run the PTFE straight to your printer directly. That way it's, the, it's not hitting open air whatsoever. Just run a PTFE tube out whichever hole and run it directly to your uh, extruder if you choose to. Let's say dust proof, moisture proof, heating, drying. Temperature reaches up to 70 C. It's preset it on the screen. I'm currently drawing some filament to test it out on that filament I showed you earlier that's very brittle. It says overheating protection. When overheated, it automatically shuts, shuts off to let it cool down and restarts the heater. And the fan, you can hear it running. It's not very loud. It's very low. It says it's got a 110 watt PTC heater. It improves more efficiently compared to a PI heater. Saves you time and money. Built in fan, evenly heating. And it has a humidity detector that I showed you the picture of on the screen. Just other products they sell here on their website. I am going to be re reviewing their filament. They got some tricolor filament. They sent me one of two rolls. I'm waiting on the second roll to come in the mail. And on my next video, I'll be showing you some really cool stuff with their tricolor filament. But that is their website right there at fixdryofficial.com. And I do have a discount code that I'll post here on the screen. I'll have down in the description. If you choose to buy any products from them, I will have a discount code here on screen and in the description.
Okay, I've left the filament in there for a little over three hours. Still says 111 to go. I have it set for four hours. It's at 49C. It keeps fluctuating right around 49C to 50C. Let's go ahead and turn it off and check it out. Let's see what we got here. Alright, it's not as brittle as it was. Okay, that just broke off. But it definitely works. That broke off. Yeah, it's old filament. So, it helped, but this is very old filament. So, conclusion, what do I think? Well, everybody needs a filament dryer. Um, you don't want to use your oven. Some printers that are enclosed you can dry filament in. But it's very nice to have a little machine that you can throw your filament in, you can dry, you can print while you're drying. And whether it be TPU, ABS, PETG, whatever, it, any kind of filament you have, you may need to dry it so it may have moisture in it. And you know, you get 10% off. I've got a code right here on the screen. Uh, we'll get, you'll get 10% off on the website, on this machine, or anything at the company. And that might help you out. So it's a beautiful machine. It looks nice. It appears to be well built. And like I say, you can put two rolls of filament or one wide spool of filament in this. And my other single dryers, you can't do that. Well, one of them never even had a fan in it. I had to add a fan after the fact. And then the second one that I reviewed, it works well. But this is a much larger unit. It's reasonably priced. So in the next video, we're going to be talking about fixed dries, tricolor filament. I've got another roll coming in the mail. But this is a very beautiful filament that I have here. And I can't wait to do, make some really cool prints with it. And uh, I'll pre-dry the filament, just for shits and giggles, I'll pre-dry the, dry the filament make sure that it doesn't have any moisture in it. One other thing I wanted to mention, what makes this such an awesome filament dryer over a lot of others? You can put two spools in the filament dryer. Where it has a fan on the bottom, it blows up through the heating element, and it has this deflector plate. Once the air hits the deflector plate, it shoots it out the front the sides and the rear to get all the way around and encompass your filament. That way it can dry evenly. It's not like a lot of filament dryers which have a simple heating element and it just slowly absorbs up. By having the fan, the defector plate, it will blow up and circulate. And if you have filament in here while you're running your printer, it is slowly rotating and turning that spool which will help it dry more evenly. Either way, I think it's a great little unit. It's very simple. There's not a lot to say about it, but I think it works great. Dual filament, sensor here, and a moisture control sensor here in the front, a deflector plate, like I say, that, that you know rotates everything around it. You can put a wider spool in here or two single, spool, single spools. So in my opinion, I think it's a great little dryer for the price. So back to the video. And uh, you know, I hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe, share, and until next time, everybody have an awesome day, and happy printing. Later.